Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So as many of you know, I kind of like non-traditional stereo systems and I have my DAC over here, PCM 17, I think 1794, 1796, hooked up to my Rotel RB1090 that then goes to my speakers over here. And from my living room computer, there's no way in hell I will ever be caught with a television connecting to the internet. That is an Intel NUC that runs Linux. Now, since I just moved, I don't have everything that I want, so I'm using a spare mouse and keyboard over there for, to control the computer. And this, this amp over here does not have a remote because it was made before remotes existed. And neither, so I, I, I have a problem. How do I adjust the volume on the computer? Well, what I could do is I could SSH in and then run a program, which I'm running right over here, that is actually going to change the volume on the screen. So what this does over here is it's getting a character, <laughs> and as long as the character <laughs> is a right bracket, it increases the volume, and if it's a lower, if it's a lower bracket, it decreases the volume. Actually, the actual script is this. I updated it. Here. There it Instead of it being in a file, it's just here. So it's going to increase the volume if I put this, and it decreases it if I put that. In order to run something outside the program, we are using the standard lib library so that I could do this in status thing so it passes it to the terminal. Now, I had a problem with the original program. The problem with the original program is, watch, if I just, uh, yeah. We're going to do, if, if I were to run this program without... One second. If I, if I cared about you guys, I would edit this, but. Oh, well, fuck it. Okay, I can do that later. If I run the program without this section over here, I actually have to hit enter each time I hit the volume control, which is horrible. So I did. With this part, what it does is I no longer have to hit enter for get character to actually get the character. Because before, I'd actually have to hit enter to get the character. So now it works like a, vo a remote control. So now I can adjust the volume of Mr. Robot without getting up to use the mouse and the keyboard that are on the floor, which are out of range of me when I'm sitting on this couch. Now, we are getting a wireless keyboard and mouse tomorrow. However, that's tomorrow. And I want to be able to adjust the volume today. So I SSH into the Nook, and then I run the C program that uses this thingy over here to make it so I don't have to hit enter for get car. That's my volume control. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.